what is light of delay and rest time. If you ever experience your print looking like this or this, then this video can help you solve your issue. Welcome to my channel, 3D Printing Enthusiast, with me, Dennis Wang. Today, we are diving into the intricacies of resin 3D printing print setting and focusing on a crucial factor that can make or break your prints, light of delay or rest time. I'm going to use Cheatbox print setting as example here. As long as you get the general idea, you can implement it to other slicer. Disclaimer, the number I'm about to show in the video is not the actual setting. It is only for exaggerated example to help with visualization. First off, let's explore light of delay. It is the total travel time for the build plate to move up and down with extra delay before the exposure starts. So you require to do a bit of calculation. Your light of delay is depends on your lift distance and print speed. For example, your lift distance is 10 mm. Lift and retract speed are both 60 mm per minute or 1 mm per second. That means your build plate need 20 seconds to move up and down. And then you add 4 seconds delay before the exposure start. That means your light of delay is 24 seconds. 3, 2, 1, go! And that if you only use single speed setting. If you use TSMC or two-stage motion control, things got a little more complicated. I think that is for another video to explain about TSMC. The benefit of light of delay, especially in Cheetah Box setting is, you can have your bottom layer's light of delay different from your normal layer. And that makes sense because bottom layers have the largest cross section and it needs more time to squish out the resin and then for the resin to settle. Now, let's talk about rest time. In Cheetah Box setting, you can change light of delay to rest time setting. And then this setting will show up. First is rest time before lift. There is a brief pause before the plate lifting process begin. This pause allows the just cured layer adheres well to the previous layer allowing any potential tension to dissipate and help prevent it from splitting. 2. Rest time after lift Once the build platform reaches its maximum height, there is a pause time introduced before the build plates start to retract. Rest time after lift is essential to prevent jerking motion or whiplash from the build plate sudden change of direction from up to down. And that could cause layer shift or bad print lines but if your printer has very strong Z tower, it won't be much of a problem. Also, on some printer, rest time after lift may not work. Number three, rest time after retract. It is a short pause introduced after the build plate retracts. This brief interval allows the resin to settle before the next layer exposure to UV light. It is to ensure better layer addition and reducing the risk of print defects. The duration of this rest time can be adjusted based on factors like resin type and printer specification to optimize print quality. If you found the information helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification. If you want special perks like early access and member-only videos, you could check my Patreon, link in video description, or you could join my YouTube channel member. Now, one thing that is common on both light of delay setting and rest time and it is the most important it is the pause time before the next layer exposure to uv light think of it as giving your resin a moment to spread out evenly across the build plate before the exposure comes on if there is no pause time you will experience issues like your print is splitting but there are also other factors could cause your print to split in most cases, you will get blooming issue. Here are the example. This cube is 2 cm cubic and it is solid. When I print it with zero pause time, you could see the bottom area is having blooming. And here's another image from Emerald Labs that shows better rough surface because of blooming. Another interesting thing is the bubble at the top of the model is quite large, almost 3 mm in diameter. After I input one second pause time, the bottom area has less blooming now. And on Amera Lab test, the image shows that the surface is cleaner and smoother with very little blooming issue. And the bubble at the top is getting also smaller, about one and a half millimeter in diameter. 
Although this looks good in general, but it is somewhat shinier if compared to this 2 second pause time. On 2 second pause time, this cube print is the best from my test result. No blooming at all at the bottom area. It also has smaller elephant's foot compared to the 1 second pause time. The bubble at the top is also smaller compared to 1 second, about half millimeter in diameter. Quick note, this bubble defect at the top of the model is still somewhat a mystery, even for us fellow season experienced user, and I'm still trying to find the solution. But judging from these three cubes, I think I'm looking at something here. Let me know your thought in the comment section. In conclusion, finding the right balance for rest time and light of delay is key to achieve optimal print quality in resin 3D printing. Experiment with this setting based on your resin type, printer specification, and your model to unlock the full potential of your print result and your printer. And thank you everyone for your support on my Patreon, also my YouTube channel. keep making videos sharing my knowledge and experience to help everyone achieve the best result thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video